It's actually more on the weekend, so I think I'm going to vlog Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, do you like your outfit? Yes! I love my bottom to cut up like this. So, speaking of Florida, we actually did get some crocs in to bring with us. To Good morning, guys, and welcome to the weekend vlog. I think this weekend I'm going to vlog the full weekend it is actually memorial day weekend so harris also has off on monday so i think i'm going to vlog saturday sunday monday we'll kind of see how the vlog pans out and how much footage i get but i think i'm going to vlog the full weekend even though we really don't have too much going on today we are going to head over to harris's parents house for a barbecue and it sucks it is super gray and gloomy today and i don't think the weather is supposed to clear up at all i actually think it's supposed to thunderstorm or start thunderstorming around one o'clock and harris's parents have a pool so if it was going to be nice out we were going to go over for a barbecue and go swimming but i think we're just gonna go over for a barbecue since the weather isn't looking great maybe we'll go back to his parents house tomorrow or monday the weather's supposed to be gorgeous those two days i think monday um harris might go golfing so if he doesn't maybe we'll go over to his parents house to go swimming but I'm not too sure what tomorrow Monday is going to look like for us. But today, all I know is that we are heading over to his parents' house for a barbecue at some point. I think we'll probably head over around like 10.30ish just to hang out for a little bit. And then we'll like barbecue and everything around noon since all the kids have to nap still. I think his sister's going to go with her three kids. So it'll be a nice little family barbecue. We always kick off Memorial Day weekend with a barbecue for Harris's dad's birthday because his birthday is Memorial Day weekend. So we always have that to look forward to, but it is 8 14 in the morning. I feel like I always start the weekend vlogs at the same time because I always go out to get coffee after I get the boys diapers changed and everything like that. Harris gets up and I head out and grab coffee, which is exactly what I just did. I just grabbed his coffee. And it's so funny. I never had like a set Starbucks that I've gone to like all my life. Even like before this one, this one that I go to now is a new build. Before this one, Harris or I was going a lot to get coffee on the weekends and I wasn't really getting coffee during the week. But ever since this one opened up, it's a lot closer to my house. I come here like once or twice during the week and then I usually do both coffee runs on the weekend. And the same girl, <clears throat> I guess is always working like the morning shift that I'm here, um, especially on the weekends. And she knows me, I start my order and she like finishes it for me and knows what I'm getting. So, um, I always think that's funny, but my coffee is perfect today. Whenever she's not working, sometimes they forget to sweet my coffee and that's like the worst because I like sweet coffee, but my coffee is perfect today. I got Harris his coffee. I got the boys and I our croissants like usual and there's someone in their car staring at me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna head home. We're gonna eat breakfast, kind of get a game plan together and then I will update you guys. Okay, I just threw on like a yeah, very Bob, little bit of makeup Bob, so that I didn't look Bob, so dead. I just did concealer, brows, and a little bit of mascara. I still need to get myself dressed, but I want to get the boys <laughs> dressed first. And they already started breaking in to their drawers. Did you take those out of the drawer? Bubba Daddy. You want to wear these ones? Daddy. Okay, well, we need to pick out an outfit that matches it then. And what do you have? What is that? Daddy. That's mommy's fuzzy sock. Where did you get that fuzzy sock? <laughs> okay, let's pick out an outfit that matches those. Okay, for the boys today, Ben is going to wear the shorts. Last weekend, I packed outfits for Harris to change the boys into after they went swimming, and I wanted this shirt to be worn with these red shorts, but Harris, like, mixed up the outfits that I sent. So Jack is going to wear this outfit now. It's these red shorts and this shirt, both from Rock Your Kid. And then Ben is going to wear these tie-dye shorts from Rock Your Kid. And then this shirt here, I think is from Tiny Whales. Yes, Tiny Whales. It's a blue shirt. He's going to have blue socks. And then as you guys saw, Jack wants to wear his purple socks. Are you ready to get dressed now? Yeah. Yep. You have purple socks on? You like them? Okay, we're doing a sock change. You want black socks? No. No, Mama. Purple or black? Black. Okay, so sit and I'll take these ones off. Sit. <laughs> sit, sit. <laughs> take them off? Black baggies. You want black baggies? Yes. Black baggies. Yeah, I don't know. Brother wanted black. He wanted to change his socks. No. No bubble ducky. No bubble duckies? Yeah. Want black sockies? Yeah. Black duckies. 
Okay, stand up so I can take No purple doggy. No purple socky, stand up to the sky. No more no more daddy. I know these shirts are tight, tight. <sighs> Come over here so I can help you. Handsome, handsome. Let's put your shorts on. Ooh, you look so handsome. Let me see. No bubble dog. No, your black sockies look so good. You like it? No Your turn, Benny. No more blue tie dye. Hand it to the sky. Hand it to the sky. No blue tie dye. Oh, do you like your outfit? Yeah, go. All right, you want to come with mommy so I can get dressed? Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. For my outfit, I think I'm just going to wear this bodysuit from Shein, my Abercrombie jeans with the rips in the knees. It is warm out today, but it is supposed to rain, so I don't feel like wearing shorts. But the bodysuit will keep me nice and cool. And then I think I'm just going to wear my pillow slides with this to keep it comfortable. Either my pillow slides or my Adidas slides that I haven't worn in a while. That's mommy's baby. So I think I'm going to wear those. So I need to get dressed now. And then I can pack the diaper bag and we can head out. Yeah. This angle is like terrible. I actually am balancing you guys on Jack's sippy. You don't want mommy to balance them on your sippy? Can I please balance them on your sippy? No. Okay, well, we're home from Harris's parents' house. Here's your sippy. Shaker. I am going to actually fold the boys' laundry. I, of course, did it like two or three days ago. Haven't gotten around to folding it yet, and the boys need jammies out. Daddy. Jammies, yeah, they need jammies out from it. So I'm going to no, sit mommy. and fold it. We had a really, no, really mommy. fun day. What, baby? You're helping? Oh, no, do you have chocolate on your finger? Lick it off. No, that one, too. A lot of stuff, yeah. And that one, too, so you don't get chocolate on the laundry. Yeah, there you go. We actually had a really fun day. The weather actually held out and was really nice while we were all playing outside. And then it did rain, but we were already inside. The grilling was done and we were eating. So we had a really good day. And then the boys didn't nap today because um, I didn't pack any of their nap stuff. I didn't know how long we were going to be there or anything like that. So I didn't pack any of their nap stuff. Yes, I will fold it in one second, okay? You want me to start folding it? I need to try and figure out where to put them down. Hold on. Okay, I now have you guys on diapers. But anyway, um, I didn't wind up packing any of their nap stuff just because I didn't know how long we were going to wind up being there. So we had no nap stuff. And so we wound up staying till about 2.30, which meant that the boys didn't get a nap today. But they did fall asleep for a little bit in the car on the way home, actually like five minutes before we got home. So I wound up sitting in the car with them so that they could finish a nap. Where are you putting? Oh, thank you, Pearl, your towels over there. So I actually sat in the car with them for a little bit so that they could have a bit of a nap. I think they wound up napping for like 20-ish minutes. And then we wound up bringing them in and just hung out for a while. You wanna go in there? Oh, God. Baby, you can't, I don't think you're gonna be able to get in alone. Too high. So, um, yeah, we've just been hanging out. Harris is actually out with a friend right now. I just fed the boys. We got all for FaceTime with my mom. And I'm going to go ahead and fold their laundry, and then I'll jump back on. Okay, the boys are now in bed. I'm sure you guys can hear them upstairs. But with all that being said in the last clip, Harris is now out with friends. 
the boys are in bed. I am very tired from running around and seemingly not having a break considering they did a nap today, which is okay. Um, but I'm tired, so I'm going to reheat some food. I brought home some leftovers from Harris's parents' house since they barbecued and made like a lot of food. Also, my makeup is like running. Um, I brought home some leftovers, so I'm going to heat those up and eat that for dinner and sit down and watch the second Mamma Mia. I watched the first one yesterday. I had like a very strong urge to watch it and I've seen it, but not really in full. I think like the first time I watched it I was on a flight so I sat down last night and I watched it and it was so good and the second one is on my tv so I'm going to sit and watch that to Terrace out with some friends and I will talk to you guys in the morning We are getting ready to head out to Harris's parents' house so we can go swimming today since it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put the boys in these swimsuits from Munster Kids. They have matching ones of these. And then I'm going to have Jack do this green shirt with it that matches it. And then this blue shirt that goes with it as well. What, you want the tag off? Okay, mommy can take the tag off. Come here. So I haven't jumped on yet and started the vlog, but it is now Sunday. I think it's about... 9 15-ish, 9.30-ish, and we want to head out around 10 to go to Harris's parents' house. It is absolutely gorgeous. Not that you can see, I have the boys' blackout blinds still closed, but the weather is so nice. This morning I ran out and did some quick errands. I got coffee for Harris and I, and then I had to pick a few things up from Stop and Shop, as you guys saw, and it was so nice. I had my windows down. I was blasting music. Yeah! such a gorgeous day so we want to get in as much time as we can in the pool i'm not sure if we're going to have the boys nap there i need to ask harris and see what his plan is if he wants them to nap there so we can stay there longer or if he wants to head back here i don't really care either way so i'm going to see what he wants to do but i'm going to go ahead and get the boys dressed and then i'll show you guys the bathing suit slash cover-up situation that i'm going to put on today and then we can head out The boys are in their bathing suits. I'm going to get dressed now. I'm going to wear my Target set that I'm super excited to wear as a cover-up. And then I think I'm going to wear this green bathing suit. I got this one so long ago. I think three years ago now at this point from Forever 21. And it's still in really good condition. Um, it hasn't really faded or anything. And I love the cut of it. The only thing is the top might be a little bit small now on me. Um, so I need to see if it still fits. And if it does, I'm going to wear this and this. And then just throw my slides on. And then Harris is ready. So once I get dressed, I just have to throw the diaper bag together and we can head out. Okay, so the top is definitely a little teeny, but it covers pretty much everything that it needs to. I just have a little spillage on the bottom, but that's okay. I love this bathing suit. I love the cut of it, especially the bottoms. They are super high cut. And I like this before having kids, but especially after to give the illusion of a smaller waist. I love when my bottoms cut up like this. So I'm going to wear this. I just need to throw my cover up on and then throw a few things in the diaper bag. Also, I did not take my makeup off great last night. So that's why it looks like I have raccoon eyes. And I've yet to exfoliate off my spray tan from last weekend from the wedding. So it's definitely very blotchy on me. That's what you guys are seeing. But hopefully today I can get some natural sun in and then I'll wash this off probably tonight or tomorrow. I'll really get it off. And I definitely want to start laying out and getting some sun. I have yet to do that and we're already entering June. I feel like last year I started laying out so much sooner. Um, but definitely when the boys are in camp, I'm excited to have the mornings to sit outside and get some sun. But um, Harris is ready. I think he's just cleaning up downstairs for me. So I need to hurry up and finish getting myself ready so we can head out. Good morning guys. It is now Monday. I've decided to continue the vlog into today just because yesterday I didn't get all that much footage. We actually had a really amazing day at Harris's parents house. I was a little bit nervous because when Harris took them, I think it was last weekend when I had my friend Julia's graduation party, he took the boys to his parents house and he said that the boys did not like the pool, that they cried when they got in with him and his mom. So I was a little bit nervous yesterday taking them in. When we went on Friday, they kept saying no pool, no pool. So I was nervous that they weren't going to like the pool and I really want them to like the pool. So we 
treaded very lightly. I told them we were going to at least try getting in the pool. If you don't like it, you can get out, all that kind of stuff. And once we were in for about 10 seconds, they got over their fear of the pool or whatever it was that was causing them to not like it the first time with Harris. And they were completely fine. We stayed in the pool for about a half hour, maybe even 45 minutes. They were splashing, they were jumping into the pool, we were catching them. Their cousin Ruby was over since their cousin Leo had a birthday party. So Harris's sister and brother-in-law took him. What's wrong, boys? So yeah, yesterday was a lot of fun. It was very tiring. Being out in the sun alone is super tiring. What do you want, baby? What? Um... So we wound up napping the boys there so Harris and I could sit in the sun in the pool by ourselves for a little bit. We headed home once the boys woke up and then we just hung around and did absolutely nothing. I wound up showering yesterday. My spray tan got really messed up from my bathing suit so I wanted to exfoliate all of that off and I did get a little bit of a sunburn yesterday but nothing too much. But today is now Monday. It's another absolutely gorgeous day. Hello, Benny. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, it's another absolutely gorgeous day outside. Um, Harris did head out this morning pretty early for a round of golf with two of his friends. So it's just the boys and I for a good portion of the day. He'll probably be home around or a little bit after nap time. And I don't have too much planned today, but there is one thing that I want to get done. And that is a lot of laundry. If you guys are caught up with all my vlogs, you would know the boys and I leave one week from today to fly down to Florida. So this week coming up, I want to pack. You guys will see that in Friday's video, but I have a lot of laundry to get done. So I figured I would get the laundry done when the boys get up from their nap. They have these little scooters that I think I'm going to try and put together so we can spend some time outside when Harris gets home. I want to try and lay out when the boys go down for a nap. So we're just going to have a really relaxing Memorial Day. So speaking of Florida, we actually did get some Crocs in to bring with us to go to Florida. If you guys saw my video where I did a bunch of mini hauls, probably like to actually no i think it was last week's video i'm not too sure i had gotten some flip-flops in from old navy to bring to florida with us since i didn't have crocs that fit the boys harris and i asked my parents for crocs for the boys birthday and got a completely wrong size so we're going to save those ones for next year but i didn't have a size seven to fit the boys this year and harris's mom went ahead and ordered two pairs for each of the boys so ben has his dark blue navy ones on jack has black ones and then we have gray ones and these blue ones and like I said we did go with a size of seven and for Jack there's definitely like a little bit of room but nothing to where they're going to fall off I'm having him like run around to test and make sure that they stay on his feet um so we went with a size seven and then she also picked up a bunch of gibbets I have their gibbets from last year I have a J and a B and then I think Jack had like headphones and Ben had a gummy bear and then I did order lollipop gibbets as well but she got a bunch of gibbets and she got spider-man ones in and then I think she ordered some off of Amazon I think it was like a 50 pack or something and she divvied it up between the four grandkids who wear shoes. Little Gabe's too little right now. Um, and so the boys picked out some of these from that large pack from Amazon. A bunch of sports ones, smiley faces, race cars. So when the boys go down for their nap today, I'm going to design their Crocs and put all their little gibbets onto their shoes so that they're ready to be packed away this week. What, baby? Okay, I just put the boys up for a nap. I have their laundry washing and Harris and I's in the dryer. So that is almost done. And Harris just finished his golf, so he should be home shortly. But I want to sit and do their Crocs right now. These are their ones from last year. Please excuse my carpet. I have yet to vacuum today. So we got some crumbs going on. But these are their ones from last year. I need to try and get these gibbets off. I remember it was like impossible to get them on. So I need to take all of these ones off. We have Jack's J, Ben's B, and then this one. And then I did get them lollipop ones when my mom's ordered them the crocs for their birthday i think they're in my backpack from when we flew home so i need to go try and find those and then i'm going to configure their crocs ben said he wanted these ones and jack wanted the black ones so i'm going to put their j and their their j and their b on these and then these two will be interchangeable between the two of them but i know ben said he wanted dark blue so i'm going to go find those lollipop gibbets and do this and then i need to eat something for lunch i'm starving
getting the gibbets out was so hard ew my nails kind of dirty but look how red my fingers are it was also like impossible to do with long nails i actually had to use a butter knife to try and stretch the hole to get them out but this is what ben's first pair looks like so he has his b his lolly these lollipops are so cute and then his gummy bear and then jack has his j his headphones and his gummy bear and then i did these ones kind of interchangeable so i have the football and the football helmet on this one <clears throat> smiley face on this one hockey sticks on this one and then i thought this car the colors went really well with the light blue so we have this car here and the soccer ball and then if i want to add another one on this one i can or on this one but i don't plan on taking these out until i have to because it was seriously impossible the ones from crocs like the crocs brand the backing is a lot bigger so these ones were harder to get in but these ones that i think has his mom got off of amazon all these ones on these shoes have a smaller backing so they were easier to pop in but i had a very hard time getting these in and out so these are all set to go now i think i'm only going to wind up packing one pair for each of the boys for florida but we'll have to see how much room i have in my suitcase but this is done. I'm going to put these ones into storage to save for our next baby. And I'm going to go eat something for lunch. Sorry if it's a little loud. I have the, um, I almost said the vacuum, the air conditioner going. But it is, I think, a little bit after 6 o'clock now. Harrison and I just sat and folded all of the laundry. We actually wound up heading out after the boys' nap and met with some friends of ours that have a son that is the boys' age. We went over to their house and played in their backyard. My scalp got even more sunburnt. My shoulders, even more sunburnt. My chest, I feel like, is still the same. Yes. What are you two doing? Yeah, so we played outside in their backyard for a little bit, hung out in their house a little bit, came back home to do dinner and all that kind of stuff, and now Harris and I just folded the laundry. I put the boys away, he put ours away, and we are going to get started on like bedtime routine and everything. So I want to go ahead and close out this very long weekend of vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what our Memorial Day weekend had in store. What? What are you two doing? My you mommy. What? Thank you. What? What? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed our weekend vlog. My next video will be my packing video, and then after that, I fly to Florida. I cannot believe it. Um, so yeah, if you aren't already, please subscribe. I feel like I never say that, or maybe I do. Who knows? I'm trying to think. Do I say it in my videos? I don't think I do. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. My Instagram is always linked down below if you guys want to stay even more up to date with what we have going on in our day-to-day -day life. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.